comes with a quick reference guide to Mad T-Shirt. So Mad T-Shirt is an acronym uh, to help us work out the elements of music, as you can see all down the side. So each letter means an element of music, and today we're going to be looking at texture. So texture is basically how sounds are organised, or the layers of sound and how they interact. So just for a minute we're going to look at these three instruments. Let's say we have a violin playing a little melody by itself. That would be given a name in terms of the texture, how that sound is organised, how that layer of sound is interacting of just by itself. We'd give that a name which we're going to learn about in a few minutes time. Let's say for instance the viola plays exactly the same as the violin but lower. Again that would be given a name in texture because those two sounds they're interacting in a special way so we'd give that a name which we're going to learn about. Let's say for instance the cello is now doing something completely different as you can see there it's yellow it's going high and low in pitch it's going crazy so that again how those sounds how those layers of sound are interacting how we've organized those sounds that would be given a name which again we're going to learn about in today's session. So there are three basic types of textures and they all end in phonic, which is Greek for sounds. So first of all, we have monophonic. So if we think of monocle, which means one, like one, one optical lens. So monophonic, one sound. So just like this example I'm gonna play for you where it's just a flute playing by itself. This is monophonic texture one layer of sound interacting by itself. just one layer of sound it's not interacting with no one else it's just by itself so monophonic we have homophonic so if you think of like a homophone homo means same so homophone is like were and were they spell differently but they sound the same and homophonic literally means something that is playing similar rhythms or similar me melodies but maybe they're in harmony so just like this choir example i'm going to play for you they're all moving at the same time, but they're playing in harmony. They're singing in harmony, so different notes. And the last one is polyphonic. So poly means many. So polyphonic, many sounds. Now this is where you have two or more melodies that are equally important. So this example I'm gonna play for you, you're gonna hear a melody at the beginning played on the piano. Uh, this melody is gonna be heard again, a bit lower in the piano, while the other hand is doing something a bit more impressive. So you'll hear it, there's gonna be many different melodies happening at the same time. sounds happening at the same time which creates a polyphonic texture. Now there are three main textures that we have in music. So how would you describe this texture I'm going to play for you now? So is it only one sound? Is it homophonic or polyphonic? Now if you need 
need to, pause the video and rewind to have a listen to it again if you need it. So pause the video and resume. The answer was polyphonic. There were two or more melodies that were equally as important being played at the same time. As I said, we have the three textures, monophonic, polyphonic and homophonic, but we can go a bit further. We can go a bit further as, as to how we describe these textures. So for monophonic, literally means we've got one instrument or one voice being heard. So one instrument or one voice singing or playing by themselves. And that would create a monophonic texture. And that's fine. However, for GCSE, we can go a bit further when we're listening to music. Perhaps there's an octave texture. So octave literally means eight notes apart. Think of octopus, eight. So perhaps we've got a melody which is played up high. And maybe I'm going to play it a bit lower at the same time. That will create an octave texture. So for instance, maybe we have this female singer singing a C, and maybe we have this male singer singing a lower C. That would create an octave texture. Unison is when all the parts are playing the exact same pitch. So for instance, if we had this singer, if we had both singers singing this note, this C, that would be classed as unison, so they're exactly the same pitch. Some people often get confused with octave. So octave texture should sound, we should hear a higher and a lower pitch, whereas unison, unison they should all be the same pitch. So pause the video to make any notes. The homophonic textures, um, so the basic one is homophonic and this is where we have the same rhythm but different notes so they should sound in harmony, it should sound quite thick, a bit like this. So everything's moving in the same rhythm but in harmony so it's very thick in sound. Imagine a choir. So imagine a choir like I played in the, at the beginning of, the ex, of this session. A cappella links with this because maybe you have unaccompanied voices. So basically this is singers with no instruments. So this is also classed as a homophonic texture as well. Going a bit further in detail. So no instruments are allowed just voices and that would be one of the homophonic textures. One of the most well-known textures in the homophonic umbrella is melody and accompaniment and this is where you hear a melody and it's very clear, the melody is very clear uh, and the accompaniment, the backing instruments or the backing vocals are just in the background playing the chords or maybe the drum beats. So let's say for instance we have a female singer here She's singing a lovely solo. And maybe the guitar, the drums and the keyboard are in the back, just playing the chords and supporting. That would be classed as a melody and accompaniment texture. It's one of the most well-known textures and well-used textures in music, especially in pop music. But it works equally as well in classical music. So maybe you've got your violin playing a lovely melody and maybe the orchestra are playing in the background. That will create a melody and accompaniment texture. It can also work on a piano as well. So here is my melody. And now I'm gonna add chords. chords are in the bottom, in the lower part, in the lower register, and much lower pitch of the piano, and they were just supporting, they were just adding that accompaniment. So it's again a really well-known texture in the homophonic umbrella. 
When we get to the polyphonic textures, as we know, polyphonic literally means two or more melodies that are equally as important. You can also have imitation with this. So if you think of like when you were a kid, if you were imitating someone, you would try and copy them. This happens in music. So for instance, my right and left hand were copying each other so it started off that melody was then copied in the lower part and then they started interweaving so they were both important and being played at the same time which created a polyphonic texture another one of the polyphonic Umbra and under the umbrella of polyphonic is canon, and this is where a melody is repeated uh, over and over again, one after each other, and it never changes. So, an example of this is London's Burning off Frere Jacques. So, started the uh, canon off, started playing for a jack, and then my left hand copied a few bars later and it didn't change at all. This is different from polyphonic because polyphonic there should be lots of interaction between the two of them uh, and constantly changing but they're constantly fighting for power whereas canon they sort of fall in line and we give the word cannon because in the olden days, if you were being attacked, if your castle was being attacked uh, and you needed to fire the cannons, you wouldn't fire them all at the same time because it would probably break the structure, it would probably break the castle wall. So they would fire one after each other. Bang, 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 bang. That would hopefully keep the structure intact and also try and surprise the enemy so they wouldn't know, what, they wouldn't expect them all at the same time and try and move away from the cannon fire. So now you know, have a go. So you're going to hear a texture, or you're going to hear a piece of music and you're going to need to describe the texture. Uh, can, can it be described in more than one way? Here's the example. Baby on board, how I've adored Boom. that sign on my car's window pane. Bouncing my step, boom, 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 boom. loading with pep, cause I'm driving in the carpool lane. Pause the video and write down your answer. Here are the answers. You could have said it was homophonic because there was no instruments. You could have said it was homophonic, sorry, because it was all in the same time in harmony. And you could have said a cappella because there were no instruments at all. So here it is. Baby on board, how I've adored on that sign on my car's window pane. Bouncing my step, loading with pep. Cause I'm driving in the carpool So, this was a very quick reference, very quick guide to texture. Uh, and our mad t-shirt uh, little, uh, little videos. Hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you very soon. See you soon.